ago, most uh, astronauts as well as test pilots were short, 5'6", five, 5'8", five, just so they could fit in cramped uh, quarters. Uh, in fact, the Soyuz that I uh, flew on was altered, and it's called TMA, um, and they lengthened the back of the seat uh, so that people my size could fly. Awesome. So why don't you take us on a tour? Sure of this space outfit that we see and is it called a space outfit what's the formal name for it uh a space suit it's actually a sokol suit is the russian uh word and uh, you can see here these are my initials in russian gay o that's the letter gamma which is pronounced ga in russian uh this was custom made for me uh, they put me in a bathtub and filled it up with foam, just like a dental impression. Yeah. Um, you see there are two air hoses going in here. Now, inside of a space vehicle, there is air. And under normal operations, you don't have to worry because of course there's no air in space. But if there's ever a leak or something goes wrong, um, we have two air uh, backups to uh, keep us going. This is the cabin air, which is at one atmosphere normal pressure. And in case that fails, we have an emergency supply that will last about one hour uh, to keep us going, hopefully uh, until we land or we dock at the space station. Some of the other things here, this is a pressure gauge, and we use this to make sure there are no leaks in the spacesuit. Before we take off, we close the exhaust valve here, and we see how long it takes for the pressure to build up to a certain amount. It takes too long, that means there's a leak somewhere here and we won't take off. So if, once that test comes out all right, we reopen the air valve so that the exhaust can come out here. Air is coming in through this way. Uh, this is rubberized uh, to keep the air in. Uh, it's very hot and you might see, uh, as you do in that photograph back there, uh, astronauts carrying a box when they're walking to the launch pad. That box is a ventilator. It blows air through here because it gets very hot inside. Um, the visor obviously is, uh, you know, to protect, keep the air uh, inside your head. And we also have them uh, a uh, headset with a microphone and earphones so that we can communicate uh, with people outside. Um, these are straps like pilots use in airplanes. We have about six straps to keep us in because, uh, you know, we want it when we're uh, coming down, when we're decelerating, we want to make sure we stay in the uh, seat. And also when we land, we land on ground in the desert. And it's a pretty big, something like a 20 mile an hour uh, auto collision. So, uh, you know, we have all this protection to make sure that we don't break a bone or something else goes wrong. So yeah, this was custom fit for me. And oh, here's the push to talk button. This is how we communicate uh, with the ground or with the crew. Because with all this uh, headgear, we can't talk to each other normally. But if we push to talk, you know, that we can hear what each other is saying. So. Awesome. How fast does an um, uh, spaceship go? Okay. When, when we're in orbit, we're traveling at 17,000 miles an hour. Wow. Now that's about five miles per second. So in two seconds, we can go past the entire island of Manhattan. Awesome. How fast? There's an, um, uh, spaceship go. Okay, when, when we're in orbit, we're traveling at 17,000 miles an hour. And that's about five miles per second. So in two seconds, we can go past the entire island of Manhattan. Wow. So we're really whizzing by. Wow. 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 Wow
be whizzing by. How's your body feel? Uh, once we're in orbit, it feels fine. You know, it's like on an airplane, you're going 600 miles an hour. It feels like you're standing still. But getting there, going, we went from zero to 17,000 miles an hour in less than 10 minutes. And in order to achieve that, we had to accelerate at three and a half times gravity or three and a half Gs. So the force on our body was, um, you know, I would weigh, you know, if I weighed 180 pounds then, I would weigh almost 500 pounds with the force pushing against me. Wow. Of course, of acceleration.